Are you addicted to your phone? We have a quiz to see if you are and tips on what to do about it coming up after the break. Stop. Here. See, they're not going to miss it. You guys shouldn't miss it this weekend. Let's toss it back to the ladies in the studio. Cheers. Cheers, Andy. Now, what an Instagrammable vineyard. And speaking of which, social media, according to the National Institutes of Health, 60% of college students say they are addicted to their phones. What, but what but did you know? I can't even talk because I'm thinking about my phone. <laughs> that addiction can have a negative effect on your attitude. Well, here with a little quiz and some info for us to find out if your phone is giving you a bad attitude is the founder of Toss C3, an IT company, Greg Hanna. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So we're talking 60% of college students. Is this just, you know, with us and our business, we have to do social media. We have to be a part of our phone. So what's kind of causing all of these, uh, these bad attitudes? Well, social media depression. You mentioned social media, right? Mm. So Facebook depression, they're taking a look at other people's perfect lives and hating theirs because they think everybody's life is better. So-called perfect life. I know, right? <laughs> but getting happy. the perfect picture can be an obsession. And then when you can't get it, it may be a letdown. And according to psychologists, psychology today, chronic negative attitudes can adversely affect one's health. So if you can't get the perfect selfie or you're having this FOMO because you see your friends mm -hmm. on vacation that you couldn't go on, I mean, this is like affecting your physical and mental overall well-being. Absolutely true. And the reason that that's important is because how our mental health is determines the happiness that we have in life. You know, as my mentor Zig Ziglar said, you know, stinking thinking will lead to the hardening of your arteries or your attitudes, mm. really, right? Okay. So if you have uh, hardened attitudes. Yeah, you're not taking care of yourself there. Well, you have a little quiz for us, right? I so do. to see if we're addicted. Absolutely. Let's okay, get as we have our phones right yeah. here in front of so us. So, question right. number one yes. emails, checking all day, checking, 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 driving yourself nuts? No. Yeah. It's never ending. Yeah. Yeah. It's text ever, yes. messages. You text someone, they don't immediately reply. Does it make you mad? No. No, because I'm the one that never replies. Yeah, I don't, I don't reply either. I don't check my email. I like do certain times a day. And then Social I'm, media. Yeah. Yeah. Surfing Facebook, Instagram, looking at other people's perfect lives and hating yours because it sucks. I've seen that yeah. a lot with uh, with friends and like, you know, newlyweds or friends that have kids that don't have kids. Like I hear a lot about that. Like, oh, you guys look so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smartphone envy. If you don't have the latest and the greatest, do you hate your life? Okay, now I do want a, a newer smartphone, I but I, I like my life. <laughs> I want a better camera. I just, right, I want a better camera. I won't pay for it. Drunk <laughs> dialing, drunk texting. Oh my oh. God. Ever blow up a relationship? Boom. Yes. yes. Yeah, I have a friend who booked a trip to Cancun and didn't know it the next day, but he was, he was drunk. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't say anymore. I don't want to out that person. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to Cancun, though. <laughs> uh, and perfect selfie, our bonus question, num number six. Oh, yeah. You know, retaking, 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 because it's got to be perfect. Got to be perfect. Put the yeah. phone higher. You got to get the better <laughs> angle. Yeah, right? I do. I do have requests. But I've given up on the perfect selfie. <laughs> but if someone is obsessed with retaking the picture, over, they might have a problem, is yeah. what you're saying? If you have one yes, then you may be having a bad attitude. Two yeses, you probably are getting a bad attitude. Three yeses, your smartphone is turning you into a monster. And you need Ooh. to do something. <laughs> okay, so what can you do? Well, here are three hacks you know, that help you to overcome uh, your addiction, and, you know, if you can. So number one is charge the smartphone in the kitchen at night, not in the bedroom while you sleep. Now, I use mine as my alarm clock. Me too. Well, it, but if I your do kitchen is too far away, it wake you up. You have to jump so out of bed. So you're it up. <laughs> That'll make me get up a little more. Clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have a book where people can get more information. The name of the book is You Can Conquer Your Bad Attitude. Where do we find it? www.smartphoneaddictionawareness.com. Should we look it up on our smartphones? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Hannah, thank you so much for coming. Greg, I'm going to put my phone awesome. down during yep. the commercial break. We'll no be back, problem. though, with more great day. <laughs>